And in this video, I'm going to see if I can distill my very own elderflower wine into an acceptable elderflower spirit. So first of all, I need to make an exceptionally simple wine. And here you can see I'm just literally snipping off the flower heads from the stalks. And as I need this to be reasonably flavoursome, I'm going to use around one litre of lightly compressed flower heads. Next, I heat up one and a half litres of water and add to this 1.2 kilos of sugar and stir it in until it's dissolved. I then add the flowers into a fermenting bucket uh, along with the syrup and also a tea bag uh, just for the tannin and that's about it for the minute i'll cover this over and leave it to steep for about five to ten minutes so i can now fish out the tea bag and add in three liters of cold water i'll then also add in one teaspoon of yeast nutrient and one teaspoon of a wine yeast and then after a quick stirring up I'll loosely cover this and leave this in a warm place for around five days to make sure it starts its fermentation. And after that time's passed, it was just a case of straining the liquid off into a clean demijohn and then popping an airlock in the top and leaving this to fully ferment. I do have two demijohns here because I did make two batches of wine because I need around 10 litres. Once it had finished fermenting, it was just a case of racking the wine off into a clean demijohn and then degassing it, adding some finings in and leaving it to completely clear. So then it was a simple case of siphoning the wine out of the demijohns into the kettle of the still. And I've ended up with just under 10 litres of a 12% wine. Mm. Okay, so I am set up and pretty much ready to go. I've got my um, cold water circulation bucket here that I will be filling up in a minute. Um, the kettle was charged and set up in a pot still mode. Now, yes, I do have one little section in here. Um, it's a three inch column. This, this section is about half a meter tall. I don't necessarily need this section by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's just there because I like to see what's going on really. So this is the kind of setup I'm going with today and there's the condenser at the end. So I've got my collection point here and my homemade SCI unit here. There we are. So let's get going. Hmm. So, as you can see, the run is going okay. Uh, 91 and a half ish degrees in the kettle there. Uh, I've still got, as you can see, even though this is, you know, well up to temperature now, um, the amount of condensation or reflux action that's still happening in the column there. Um, I'm taking it off at a reasonable kind of steady drip rate, I think. It doesn't smell too bad. Um, and at the moment, water, water. unlike my dance moves, this is possibly showing some good potential. Wow. Well, let me crack on, do the rest of the cuts, and then I'll be back later to see if. This really does pan out to be quite a good drink. And at the end of the run, this is what the wine looked like in the bottom of the kettle, which is actually pretty similar to the way it looked at the beginning. Yay! And here I am back with all of my little cuts from that distillation run. Now, 50 mil of the four shots uh, at the beginning of the run was uh, taken away and discarded. 
and the rest of it was just collected in the jars in 100 mil intervals. Starting with jar number one, um, and two and possibly three, I was expecting to get quite a bit of headsy smell. Um, and it's not that prominent, to be honest. But just out of best practice, I think I will discard the first 200 mil of collections, just assuming there is um, some, you know, tainted esters in there that I don't want. Uh, I'm not being too finicky because um, the rest of it, as it goes down, smells okay. I haven't really tasted much of it. Um, and I did collect right down until 30% uh, ABV. Now, you can do, you can collect and stop at whatever point you want to. Um, 30 is a little bit low for me, um, and I was expecting to get quite a few tails coming through at the end. Um, there is some, but again, without being too anal about all this, um, I'm going to chuck in all of the, the tails as well, because they do, you know, it, it's, it seems to blend in quite well uh, with this kind of flavour, I think. So if I disregard the first 200 mil out of the way, that leaves me now, from that 10 litres of wine, it now leaves me with 1.3 litres of a high ABV spirit. Mm. <laughs> now, you were expecting me to water this down and then taste it and come back and go, mm, yeah, it's okay. Um, I probably will do that, but my plan of action now um, and you do know I like to mess around with this and completely mess it up. I'm going to stick all of these cuts together. Then I'm going to divide them into three. See what the ABV is. And then well, my plan, and it ain't going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. The first third is going to be back sweetened with a syrup only because I know this is quite a delicate flavour um, and just watering it down will make it even worse I think so I need that sugar to bring it out a bit. So the first third is going to have some syrup in it, the second third is going to have uh, also some syrup added into it to all, you know, bring it down to somewhere around 35-40% ABV um, but I'm also going to add mm, some apple concentrate into that. Yum, yum, yum. Now the last third, I'm also gonna stick in some syrup, but I think I'm gonna maybe chuck in a, a slither from a lemon. So I'll have plain apple and lemon, elderflower, uh, spirit. Right. That's that, let's get on and do it, and we'll come back and we'll see how badly I can mess this all up. Hey, so I'm back, hey, and yeah, I've got my three bottles ready to go. Uh, the quantities worked out about 1.2 litres in total in the end, uh, so it's quite handy that 400 mil went into each of these at uh, just over 60 odd percent, I think it was. Um, back sweeten them all with uh, a simple syrup, a ratio of one to one, so about 200 mil went in each of these as well, bringing the ABV down to um, somewhere around 40%. So let's go through and have a quick taste, shall we? First up, elderflower on its own. It doesn't smell of a great deal. There is a subtle floral hint to it, but let's give it a tasting. Cheers. Um, yeah, well, what am I getting from that? Oh, a bit of heartburn. <coughs> well, that does taste quite lively. Um, and that's quite interesting because Oh, the initial taste on that wasn't that particularly um, brilliant, but there really is such a pleasant um, aftertaste of the elderflower constantly coming back through. 
It's worked. I'm happy with this one. That has got a definite thumbs up. So on to the elderflower and lemon. Now with this one, I did leave a strip of zest from a lemon. Actually, it was two strips, only about five centimeters long by about a centimeter wide. And two of those in here for two hours, um, I might have slightly overcooked it, to be honest, because it does smell very lemony. Yes. But anyway, let's give it a taste, see what it's like. Cheers. Yes, 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 yes. That's worked absolutely bob on again. Does the same thing again. It's... It's slightly calmer than this one, I have to be fair, but the, yeah, the aftertones, the afternotes really come through. I think if I was to do this one again, yeah, I would use a minimal amount of lemon zest, a very small amount and literally just dunk it in like a tea bag for a few minutes and take it out. Um, but no, another, ba bing, thumbs up. So. Finally, onto the elderflower and apple. Here we go. Ooh. No, something's not quite right with that one at all. Um, what, how much was it? I think it was about 25 mil of a double concentrated apple juice went into this. And I know it's quite potent. That's obviously been double concentrated. But mm. anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers. <laughs> oh no, 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 oh dear. Oh. God, I slap my nutsack with a wooden spoon. Oh, that, that's not worked. I'm surprised. I thought that was going to be another winner. I'm not too keen on that at all, to be honest. Oh, I suppose I could chuck that one into that one but then if it no 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 don't don't start messing around with it anymore um these two are good ones good to go that one's just gonna have to be redistilled at some point i'll chuck it in with something else so there we have it it's not many times i distill uh, a wine or even a brandy whatever you want to call it um, and it comes out okay but these with a good bit of back sweetening I'm more than happy. Hey. So there we go. Thanks for watching and until next time, make sure you keep on shining.